Jason Nappy is back with his full forecast. Jason, at 6 o'clock, you know, you were talking about how we're going from mild to cold for a few days back to mild, kind of already having you think about a different season. Spring. Spring, yeah. Uh, well, not tonight. Okay. Project Heat is on tonight. Uh, it is uh, downright cold. It's winter. I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm just stating the obvious here uh, tonight. How about two in Caribou? This is without the wind chill, mind you. Uh, yeah, moon out um, 17 in Kennebunk tonight. So let's take a look at the notes. Clear and seasonably cold overnight. That's why I'm not complaining because it is February. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. A chilly southwest wind. This time of the year when the wind is blowing and it's about 30 degrees, it doesn't really feel warm, even though it's a southwest normally warm direction. Vacation week for the kids and probably the parents next week starts chilly ends mild and yeah, we'll get maybe a little spring preview as we get to the end of the week. For right now, spring is nowhere in sight, Sam. <laughs> Three in Rangeley, 20 in Arundel. Head up north just a bit, mid coast, Penobscot Bay, down east, the county, 22 Eastport, just holding on to the, I'll call it not as coldest spot on the map. I certainly wouldn't call it 22. Uh, warm didn't even show you the wind chills. I mean, I showed you the top of the show. They're in single digits and sub zero. So hopefully you caught those. Radar is clear. The sky clear tonight. Notice a couple snow flurries up in the county, uh, basically up in the north woods. Those are gone. All clear. And then tomorrow the clouds get here. I'm going to go mostly cloudy tomorrow. So not going to feel that warm, especially as we get through the day. There will be some peaks of sun, but Southwest breeze, temps in the 20s, that's not going to feel warm, uh, even though we will get to the 30s in Sanford, 33 in Portsmouth. And then as we get late into the day, here comes that front. That's going to really just fall apart. Moisture starved, not a lot of precip, and certainly I don't expect much in the way of snow at all as we get into Sunday night. Nevertheless, I could see a dusting at the absolute most. A lot of zeros here. Right now, the uh, new center main weather team is in the uh, uh, we'll call it the method of under promising after the last couple storms or lack thereof. So on the mild side by later Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, before that, we're going to be on the chilly side, which you'd expect. Seas two to four feet. Gale watch is up. We get that wind gust in the 30 knots. Uh, the next several days, we have President's Day on Monday. It'll be sunny. It'll be very seasonable, right about average, 29, a couple degrees below. And then we jump to the 40s with rain and snow. And right now, accumulations there do not look all that measurable or significant, but it's the only shot we have. And I can tell you a little sneak peek after the next seven days. If you were looking for snow, I have such bad news because uh, I'll maybe start talking about in the social media the next week or so. I really expect us to go in somewhat of a snow drought because as we get to the end of February or so, early March is coming very soon. Temperatures are going to warm up mm -hmm. and and I just we're already behind the eight ball as far as snow goes. Right. It's just been one of those winters. But on the bright side, maybe yeah. we do get that one big snowstorm and then it kind of averages out, you know, looking at the year totals. But again, I'm just the wishful thinker. It, look, it only takes one big one in March and it's happened before. So let's oh, see. It, it, yeah. it, it, <laughs> yes. it can happen. Or April. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Jason. Thank you.